Hi everybody, my name is Ron Cantor and you're watching Out of Zion on God TV. Now we're going to continue today with the 10 Jewish facts about the New Testament starting with number 6. James was not the name of the brother of Jesus. Actually it was Yaakov or Jacob, the brother of Yeshua. There was nobody in the New Testament that ever called anybody by the name James. Number seven, Jesus died on Passover. He rose from the dead on the day that the Jewish people would bring their first fruits offering and that would start the counting of the Omer, which would end 49 days later. And on the next day, we have the Feast of Shavuot, Pentecost, where God birthed the body of believers. Now, the chances of all those things happening on Jewish holidays are literally in the millions. Number eight, Paul never changed his name. The Bible says Paul, who was also called Saul. You see, when you're Jewish and you're born outside of Israel, you get two names. You get one connected to your culture and a Jewish name. In fact, my parents gave me the name Ron, but also the Hebrew name Chaim. Some people wrongly teach that when Saul became a believer, he wanted to get rid of his yucky Jewish name, and then he took on a Christian name. There's only one problem with that. There's no such thing as a Christian name, at least back in Paul's time. Okay, number nine, the entire New Testament were written by Jews. Now there's a little controversy about Luke, so that would be 25 out of 27 books, all written by Jewish people. Pretty Jewish book. And that leads us to number 10. Communion was instituted, not in a Catholic church, but at a Passover Seder. Yeshua celebrated his last Passover with his disciples, and he took the third cup of the meal, the cup of redemption, and he instituted communion. Now, why is all this important? Because the enemy has sought to rob the New Testament of its Jewish flavor. It's not a story of Peter, Paul, and Mary. It's a story of Yeshua, of Yaakov, of Yochanan. It's a Jewish story. And part of our job is to reclaim that so we can reach the Jewish people with the gospel. Now make sure you never miss an episode by going to God.tv and you can find me at roncantor.com. Shalom from the old port city of Jaffa. Please follow Ron on Twitter and Facebook at Ron S. Cantor to find out more about Ron and his ministry. For more information on God TV and the Out of Zion programs, or to view these programs again, go to god.tv forward slash Zion.